Today we will be learning what shades and tints are, and how they cause different responses and emotions through artwork. Let's begin by reviewing the color wheel. This should look familiar to you. The color wheel contains the primary, the secondary, and the tertiary colors. Let's now take a look at the value scale. The value scale shows the contrast of a color from light to dark. All you have to do to make these changes is add either a little black or white to your color. Each time you want to make it lighter or darker. Here we have three colors, burgundy, green, and black. When you view these value scales, you can see that the changes the colors make when adding either white or black paint. When you have one color and you use the different lights and darks of that color, it is called monochromatic. You can see that this character is monochromatic with shades of browns. Let's take a look at a few different paintings of monochromatic work. Let's start with this painting from P Pablo Picasso. Can you see the different shades of blue? This is a painting of a girl in a green monochromatic scheme. You can see that the dark greens are representing the shadows, and the light greens are representing the highlights from the light source. This is a monochromatic painting of a cartoon character. Can you tell me why this painting can be classified as emotional? This is a child painted in monochromatic red. Look at the shadows in this painting. Do you think the artist is trying to show an emotion? Let's look at how monochromatic colors can change the emotion of a picture. Let's start here. This is a picture of regular Cheerios. This is a painting of Cheerios in a monochromatic green. What does this make you feel like? This is a regular picture of a young boy crying. This is the same picture in a grayscale. How does this make you feel? Do you think this grayscale made the picture change its feelings? This is a picture of a sunset. The colors in this sunset make it warm and inviting. This is the same picture. How does it make you feel when you see it in black and white? Shades and tints can affect your emotions when you view paintings. They can make you sad or they can make you happy, depending on the colors you choose to use. Now let's take a moment, choose any color, as well as a black and white. And you are going to try making your own monochromatic picture. Our CSO is to explore tints and shades and demonstrate how they cause different responses and create art using a monochromatic scheme.